Did you know that one single company has more control over the world's finances than any government or organization? That's right, BlackRock, the world's largest asset management firm, has an astonishing $9 trillion sign in assets under management. But how did BlackRock get to this point of power and what does it mean for the world? With over $9 trillion sign in assets under management, that's more money than the GDP of any country on the planet, except for the United States and China. But how did BlackRock get so big and what does it mean for the world? Welcome to Wealth Building Channel. In this video, we will explore how BlackRock controls the world and the surprising ways in which its influence affects us all. BlackRock's $9 trillion sign in assets under management. To put BlackRock's power into perspective, its $9 trillion sign in assets under management is larger than the gross domestic product of every country in the world, except for the United States and China. This massive amount of wealth gives BlackRock enormous influence over global markets, allowing it to shape the investment strategies of governments, corporations, and individuals. The History of BlackRock BlackRock was founded in 1988 by eight partners, including Larry Fink, who is still the CEO today. At the time, the company managed just $1 billion sign in assets. But over the years, BlackRock grew rapidly through a combination of acquisitions and smart investments. By 2009, they had become the largest asset management company in the world, and they've held on to that title ever since. How BlackRock Controls the World So, how does BlackRock's massive size translate into control over the world? One way is through their massive holdings and publicly traded companies. BlackRock is one of the largest shareholders in many of the world's biggest companies, with significant stakes in firms like Apple, Microsoft, and ExxonMobil. As a result, BlackRock can wield enormous influence over these companies, pushing them to adopt certain policies or strategies that benefit BlackRock's bottom line. But BlackRock's influence extends beyond just individual companies. They also control a huge portion of the world's financial system. For example, BlackRock is one of the largest players in the bond market, buying and selling government bonds around the world. This gives them the power to influence government policies by exerting pressure on governments to adopt certain economic policies that benefit BlackRock's investments. BlackRock also has significant power in the world of index funds. These are funds that track a particular stock index, like the S&P 500. Since BlackRock manages some of the largest index funds in the world, they have the power to decide which companies are included in these indices. This means that BlackRock has the power to shape the entire stock market, deciding which companies get investment and which ones don't. The impact of BlackRock's control. So, what does BlackRock's control over the world mean for you and me? One concern is that BlackRock's focus on short-term profits over long-term sustainability could be harmful to the economy and the environment. Additionally, some worry that BlackRock's outsized influence on government policies could undermine democracy and limit the ability of ordinary people to have a say in how their government is run. Conclusion. So, why should we care about BlackRock's control over the world? Because its influence affects us all. By prioritizing shareholder returns over other concerns, BlackRock can encourage companies to engage in short-term thinking and ignore the long-term consequences of their actions. Its influence on government policies can also limit our ability to address pressing social and environmental issues. Understanding how BlackRock controls the world is essential for anyone who wants to have a say in how the global economy is managed. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like and share this video and leave a comment below if you have any questions.